Well, hello and welcome again to our reading of John's Gospel, and we're up to chapter 13, the washing of the disciples' feet. And it begins, Pro de tes hiotes tu pasca aidos, ha Jesus hotiel ten autu he he cora hina meta bay ek tu cosmu tu tu proston partera. Agapesas tus idius tus en to cosmo es, uh, es telos agapes in autus. So, and before the feast of the Passover, Pascha doesn't, it's a Hebrew word and doesn't uh, decline, uh, but you can tell the case from the article here. Jesus knowing, this is the participle from Oida, Jesus knowing that his hour that came, so you put it into uh, has come or something in English, that his hour has come, or perhaps had come, hina, this is this use of hina here, that, um, metabai from metabino, this is the aorist subjunctive here, bino is to go, meta has a sense of to of change, and hence metabino is to depart to go to somewhere different. So, uh, in order that he might depart from this world to the Father, having loved his own, the ones in the world, Agapes and Aorist, he loved them to the end, as telos. Now we get two genitive absolutes here. We get deipnu ginomenu. This is the present participle from ginomai. And Deipnos is dinner. So while the dinner was proceeding, you say in English because it's a present participle, while the dinner was going on, and another genitive absolute, the subject of it is diabolos, and the part, the verb here is beble kotos, which is the genitive perfect participle in the genitive case from balo. You get the zero grade of the verb bl from balo, linking vowel, and then there's the kos, quia, kos, kotos, genitive ending here. So this is the perfect. So the devil already having literally thrown, or perhaps cast, or perhaps just weaker, put, uh, S. Tancardian into the heart of Judas, uh, probably son of Simon, is the Iscariotu, whatever that means in this context, the Judas Iscariot, Hina, that paradoi auton, he might betray him. This is the, although it looks optative, this actually is a subjunctive, it's an irregular, funny subjunctive form. You also get an omega here, um, which makes a bit more sense, but this is an alternative subjunctive form, so that he might betray him. So when all that had happened, so dinner was going on, the devil had already put into the heart of Judas that he might betray him. Eidos, Jesus is the subject of the participle, Eidos from Oida, knowing, hotty, that the Father um, gave to him all things. So the Father has given to him all things into his hands, so into literally into the hands, and after Oider again, knowing that, ex aelthen, he came from God, and hup age, hup age is to depart, so he was departing to God, this is present here, so knowing that he came from God, and is departing to God, egeratai, this is from egero, it's possibly middle here, he, he got up, he rose to raise, so if it's middle, it's he raised himself up, he got up from the dinner. Kaitithesi ta himatia. Literally, he placed his garments, his himatia. Uh, so, tithesi, perhaps in the sense of put aside here, so he put aside his, well, perhaps outer garments, this would be. Kailabon lention. Now, um, Lention is, we don't get too many of these in John, you get lots of them in Mark. This is a Latinism. This is actually a Latin word put into Greek. It's linteum in Latin. Uh, means a cloth here, probably more in the sense of a towel. 
it's only here, I think, in the New Testament, and I think it's only in the New Testament, but it's a common enough word in Latin. So having taken a linteum, a towel, lention, so sen hialton, he girded himself. Now this is from diatsonumi. Uh, so it means to put on a zone. A zone is a belt. So to girdle yourself, so to gird yourself, we might translate it, he put it around his waist, but literally he he girded himself. And then historic present that bellows means to throw, can mean to strike as well, but it can also just mean that to put uh, so he puts historic present water as ton niptera. Now we're going to this is the noun niptera. We're going to get the verb down here niptain. Uh, so a niptera is a basin, a washing basin. So having put, literally having cast or thrown water into the basin, and exetop from this is from uh, Archimai. He began niptain to wash. To spodas ton methaton, the feet of the disciples, kai ek masain, and to wash, understand them, to lentio, this is this uh, towel, with the towel with which he was girded, diet sos menos. So, with which he was having been girdled, so with which he was girdled. Uh, Urkatai, he comes then to Simon Peter. He says to him, uh, now this is Peter now, change of subject, Peter says to him, Kurie, Lord, now notice the um, personal pronouns here, su, mu, it's quite emphatic, you, um, it's a question, do you or are you washing the feet of me, are you washing my feet, but they're putting the two, the you and the of me together, but it's quite emphatic, so are you going to wash my, are you washing my feet, Jesus answered and said to him, ha, that which ego poyo I do su uk oides arti, you do not know arti now Gnose de metatata. This is the uh, first, uh, sorry, second person singular future from uh, ginosko to know. But you will know after these things. So perhaps in English, after these things, you will know or you will understand. Peter says to him, historic present, ume, with subjunctive for that strong negative, you will never wash um, uh, my feet. Ace ton Iona ever, literally under the age. So you will never wash my feet. It's very again emphatic. Jesus uh, Auto Jesus answered him, Aon may unless nipso, that's the aorist subjunctive from nipto, unless I wash you, you you do not have meros a portion met emu with me. Simon says to him. Peter, sorry, Simon Peter says, uh, says to him, Curia, Lord, uh, not only, so this is a, almost a command, so do not, so you, you have to understand a verb here, you will not wash, so in English we say not only my feet, but also my hands and the head. So the hands and the head, and my hands and my head. Jesus says to him, the one leluminos, now this is middle perfect participle here, the verb is luo, now luo means I wash somebody else, luo my in the middle, I wash myself, and hence to bathe, and this is the perfect participle here. So the one having bathed, who eke crayon does not have need, except nipsasthai. Now this is the middle uh, aorist infinitive from, from nipto. Nipto is to wash someone else. Niptomai in the middle is to wash yourself. So 
so hence to bathe, another word for bathing. No real difference between luo and nipto, they're just synonyms. Um, so has no need to bathe except to wash his feet. And it's middle because you're doing it to yourself. Al estin katharos holos, but he is completely pure. Um, so holos, he is wholly pure. Uh, or perhaps the whole of him is pure. So it is nominative here. So the, the whole of him is clean. Katharos. And you lot are clean, but uki pantes, not all of you. For a day, this is the past tense of oida, he knew the one betraying him, present participle here. Uh, on account of this, he said, hoti recitative, you lot are not all clean. Hote un enipsen tus potas tone and when he had washed their feet and he he took his garments that that is he uh, he took put back on his um, his outer garments by anepesen palin this is from anapipto it literally means to fall up but it's uh, anapipto means to it, it's to recline it's to lie to lay back down again because they dined um, in a reclining position. So he reclined again and he said to them, no connectives here, it's, uh, it's full of uh, as in here, there's no connectives, it just says he did this and he lay down again, there's no and or anything, he just, he said to them, Ginoskete, uh, to question, do you know what I have done whom in to you? Perfect from Poyo. You say me, sorry, you not you say, you call me, and it's you plural, so you lot call me, and this is what they call, and we get it back in the nominative again, the teacher and the Lord. Kalos legate, and you speak well. So, in other words, you speak rightly or correctly. For ego um, amy ga, for I am. If therefore I enipsa eris nipto, I washed your feet, I, your Lord and your teacher, washed your feet, also you ought, from Aphelo, you ought niptain to wash the feet of one another. For I have given uh, to you an hupodeg, hupodegma, an example. Uh, third declension, news and noun. So I have given to you an example of that, just as I have done to you, also you do. Um, so it's subjunctive after hina. So in order that you also might do just as I have done to you is the grammar there. So we get a subjunctive after hina here. Poiete. Truly, truly I say uh, to you that um, the doulos, the slave, is not greater, and then a genitive of comparison, than his master, nor the apostle, the one who sent, greater than the one having sent him. So we're getting these comparatives with the genitive of comparison afterwards. So greater than the one having sent him. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. U peri pantone humon lego, I do not speak in regard to you all. Ego oida, for I know uh, tinas, certain ones I have chosen. So I know the ones, the those certain ones I have chosen. Allah, but, understand I have said this, in order that, 
the scripture might be fulfilled. Aorist passive subjunctive from play ro'o. Hot trogon mu, the one literally eating, or this is a, again this word for munch, it's quite a strong word for eating, but this is a quotation from the Septuagint. So the one eating my bread, eperan, lifts up. Now the paternan is the heel of your foot. So lifts up his heel against me. It's connected with the word for wing actually, but it becomes the word for the just the heel of your foot. So the one eating bread, uh, eating my bread, ep aaron. This is the um, aorist from ep iro. So lifts up against against me, his foot. Ap arti. From now on, I speak to you pro to genestai before it takes place. This is pro plus the articular infinitive. So before it happens. So I'm telling you this before it happens in order that you might believe that when it uh, takes place, aorist subjunctive from Ginnamai, that ego amy, that I am, there's that ego amy again that we've seen several times, the divine name. Truly, truly, I say to you that the one, um, the one receiving tina anyone, uh, I will send receives me. Oh, so the one receiving this is um, indefinite here, an and tina. So it's whomever I will send, and this will be a subjunct here, or possibly a future, or whoever I might send, receives me. So the one receiving whomever I might send, receives me, and the one receiving me, Lambane, receives the one having sent me. And that is the end of that little section.